The machine has been going for three days straight. This is what we got right now. Oh, yeah. Welcome back, cops. My name is Kuo. Welcome in today. We are back in my little office over here. And look at these guys. Oh. And we're going to be making a YouTube play button ourselves. I already have a few though. Yeah, I have four total. But today we're gonna be doing it a little bit different. Instead of getting a million subscribers, we're gonna use a 3D printer to make a custom YouTube play button. So right over here is my 3D printer. It, it works pretty easy. I, uh, I upload some stuff there from the computer and then I press print and then it prints. And it can print little things like this. I printed this and the coin and this thing and this little robot. Look at this robot guy. Beep, 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 beep. Do not mess with me, puny human and i printed this one yeah you looked haha <laughs> i got you now first things first youtube play buttons are not white i was thinking of going for an yeah a red youtube play button i think that would look really cool a custom one for nine million subscribers we're almost there so let me just grab the filament i believe that's what it's called i don't know so we have green red and blue but for this video we're gonna be using red and now i kind of have to figure out how to install it in there never really done this Okay, cops. So the red stuff is all set up. It's right over there. This is what we used to have the white stuff But now we got the red stuff just doing a few final little tweaks And then it's time to switch to the computer and find ourselves a beautiful play button We want to put up on the wall or put up here on the bookshelves or put up on this wall who knows? So let's wait for that and then uh, let's do this. Okay, cool. so we've switched to the computer setup really quickly. The printer is heating up right now. So this gives us the perfect time to figure out what exactly we will be printing. So right over here, I do, you know, we just did some search about YouTube. We can go for like the YouTube logo and print that. But then again, that's not a YouTube play button. We really want something like this. This. This is the 10 million YouTube play button. We would be making it in red, so it could be the unofficial 9 million one. But it looks really, really cool. Really nice. We can scale it to whatever size we want it to be. So this one's definitely my favorite so far. But there's more. We can go for a more basic YouTube play button, like a really thin one. Go for this one. Looks very interesting. Oh, people have made videos about it too. This is actually pretty cool. There's so many different ones. We can go for a very, very solid one two we can go for one that got fits on a keychain there, there are quite a lot of different youtube play buttons this one it's like has a hole in the middle this one is is that a, an alarm clock here we have a cat playing with the youtube play button here we have the pewdiepie ruby youtube award what somebody's made that somebody has actually made the pewdiepie youtube play button it's his logo you see this is Cute by logo. It oh, this is pretty cool. And then you can just print it out and pretend you have 50 million subscribers. This one I feel like is a bit too thick. This one is my favorite so far, the 10 million one. Cops, I think we should give it a shot. I, I think we should try with this one. See how far we get. Let's start off with a small play button. And if we get a successful small one, which is the experiment, we could try and get a really, really big one. Doing the big one tends to take like 24 hours. Here's another, yeah, another really cool one we could do. We could obviously make Make it gold too if we have some of the gold filament we can do a blue one we can do a green one uh, but today we're gonna do a red one so far it's not that big it says it's gonna take 11 minutes I mean I'm curious I'm really curious I have to rotate this thing put it flat on the ground there we go so it's now gonna start printing it does layer by layer from the bottom and it goes up 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 hopefully these corners are not gonna mess up it says it's gonna take 10 minutes I do not believe that so let's switch back to the three 3D printer. Hey cops, we got some bad, bad, bad news. That's not a play button. It doesn't look like a play button. Uh, the printer kind of messed up. And here is the first filled play button. This is literally what we got so far. It's really, really small, like two and a half centimeters. When you lose a thousand subs, you get this. We're uh, we're printing again. This uh, this is starting to look much nicer so far. I do not know. Yeah, it's already messing up. Really? Okay, we're gonna have to restart this once again. Again. Okay, cops, attempt number three. What I feel kept happening was it was going way too fast moving up and down. So now I've set the speed to half speed. Hopefully this works and hopefully we can get a prototype going so we can do a larger skill operation. 
I'm excited. Bazinga! It seems to be working. It seems to be working so far. Look at this. It's doing a great, great, great job. I'm just very afraid that it might mess up later. I don't think so. If this works, we're gonna have a play button. And then we can make a bigger version. Which is gonna take years to print. Print update. We're about halfway there. And so far, it is looking good. Beautiful. Also, meanwhile, I'm installing my Google Home, but it's speaking German to me, which is kind of worrying. I'm looking for an English one. I don't speak German. Help the first version of the red DIY do-it-yourself YouTube play button is ready. Keep in mind, this is just a test version to see if we like this prototype. If we do, then we're gonna be making a bigger version. So let's check it out. It's right over here. Oh, wow. That looks so cool. Okay, so obviously we're gonna be removing the edges and, and making sure that it's only the center right there. But this looks so nice. Here's a side shot. It looks really, really good. Okay, here we go. This is, the, I can't focus it, but I believe we can just break it off like ah. There we go. Here we go. The YouTube play button. Super small. Uh, we're definitely gonna need to make a bigger one. I love this though. It's really, really cool. So the beta version is done. The prototype is done. We're gonna make one which is about eight times as big as this, which I believe is the biggest that we can make. And uh, we're gonna see if that works. However, it will take 24 hours. So probably be, be busy uh, with this for a while. And the printing has started. As you can see, this one is much, much bigger than the previous one. I don't know how well this is gonna go over here on my little machine. It says it's gonna take 220 hours. The reality is probably gonna take like a day, maybe two days. We're gonna see. I'm just gonna leave the printer on and do some other things. So cops, I will be right back probably tomorrow for me. So be right back. Okay, Kelp. So a few hours have passed and the play button is starting to take shape. It seems to look really, really, really red. Really cool though. I'm, I'm very, very excited to see what it will look like in a few hours. I don't think I should have those things next to this very hot machine. That That's definitely a fire hazard. This is the graveyard of uh, all the failed experiments so far. Uh, it's gonna take a while. It really is going to take a while. Uh, it's been a few hours since the last clip, since the last recording. It's still the same day, uh, but right over here, it says 78 hours. 78 hours left. While recording this video, it's Friday the 24th, which means that tomorrow it's August 25th, aka the KSI Logan Paul boxing match. I honestly think that I can go there, watch the boxing match, have a great party, and sleep, and then the next day get on my flight, come back home, and it might still be printing by then. It's like that long of a process, but maybe it speeds up later on. Who knows? I guess we'll have to find out. I'm really looking forward to this. I love making these 3D printing videos. One thing I am a little bit afraid about though, right over there, you might see the corner starting to pop up a little bit. Now what happens is when this uh, uh, um, PLA, it's called, the material, when it heats up and it cools down, it contracts, it shrinks, and therefore can bend the corners and then completely mess up your entire print. Now sometimes it'll just have a bent corner, which isn't the end of the world. But sometimes it'll clunk up and it'll start moving and it'll break down. I hope that doesn't happen. If it does, then there are a few ways to counter that. One of them is like you can put glue on, on the plate. The other one is you can turn the heating plate up a little bit so it's warmer. Or you can put like some tape on there. Uh, we're gonna have to see what's gonna happen. Uh, I'm definitely looking forward to uh, to this play button. I'm, I'm, I'm excited. We're gonna go until we get one. And that isn't this small. And come. So we're back home. We went to our little uh, Logan Paul versus KSI boxing match, which was literally insane. Let me know, did you watch it? And did you see me on stream? Because quite a lot of people told me they saw me on the stream. Anyways, it was awesome. This was uh, 20, the last clip was 24 hours ago. And I just went to grab the camera from the office and I can still hear the printer going. Now I haven't seen it yet, but let's check it out. Let's hope it's not ruined. 
Okay, cops, I've actually legit not seen it yet. Let's see, what do we have over here? Look at that! Wow! Okay, so clearly right over there, getting a little bit messy because the uh, the plate isn't hot enough. What happens is that, like I already explained before, the plastic, it starts bending when it cools down. But then again, it's not the end of the world. The other corners seem to be doing amazing. We got a beautiful corner over there, a beautiful corner over there there and let's check out this corner also good so we only have one corner only one corner messed up so far but the print is still going it's been going for about 40 hours now yes I know these videos take really really long to film okay my office smells I'm, I'm pretty sure this stuff isn't good for you so I left open a window I might just record one video in here and then I'm gonna go out of my office because kind of don't want to be here with this toxic stuff in here but the print hopefully is done tomorrow I'm looking around some more it's looking really really nice and the size of it is good too so it's about this big this big which is about as big as this box so it's it's about half of the golden play button this one's broken by the way it's about half of the golden play button now one thing I was thinking of doing but I don't know if I should. So I could ask the person who made this for these beautiful art pieces by Cause, one of my favorite artists. I could ask the person who's made this to make a similar one for the red play button, AKA the nine million subscribers play button. Cause I simply do not know how to do that. And then I was thinking, putting it up on this wall. What do you cops think? Let's first see what this play button is gonna look like. Update number one million on the YouTube play button. I realized that the process, the final little process was gonna take a little bit too long. You say like 40 hours. So what I did was I put the speed on 100% instead of 50% because I felt like it kind of had its precision work done, which was a start in the ground base. So now it says only 27 hours left. 27 hours. But I think it's actually gonna go much, much faster than that. And it's, it's starting to look really, really, really nice. Only that part is bothering me a little bit. Actually, it's bothering me a lot. That's that's the only part that failed. I think that corner messed up because the window is right there and that's like the coldest area and I had to keep the window open for ventilation purposes. Cause else that was gonna suffocate in here. But anyways, 27 hours left and then hopefully the printer is done with the red YouTube play button. Unofficial though. Time for me to start watching anime, I guess. Cops, I don't know how many days it's been since we started this video, but we have something really, really cool now. I, th I think it's been three days. The machine has been going for three days straight, but this is what we got right now. Oh yes. I'm pretty sure I can just Take it off. Let's look at it. Let's take a look. Hey Google, turn on office. Sure, turning Jordy's recording on. <laughs> Why is it not turning on? <laughs> Why, hello? It looks like that device hasn't been set up yet. Just open the Google Home app. Hey Google, go turn on studio. Sure. There we go. I accidentally turned on the house in, uh, <laughs> in Toronto. So back to this amazing video. This is what we printed. It's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful diamond play button. It's red, however. Also, we have a little bit of a problem over here, but that really isn't the end of the world. So what happened here, I've already said it a million times in a video, this part cooled down too fast and therefore it bended. I, I think that's because we had the window open. It just kind of needs that, it needs that. But uh, hey, that's not the end of the world. You only see it from, the, from this side, it looks amazing, uh, but we're still not done. What we kind of have to do is take this bottom plate off. The top one is, it's all we want, right? So I believe we can just, Kind of like slowly snap, take it off. If that doesn't work. We might need some tools. No, this seems to be working really nicely. There we go. Okay, and then obviously this is the messed up corner. So I just go and ah, there we go. So this was like the plate it used to print on, and then this one went right on top of it. But here it is. The, uh, the play button, it's a little bit messy on one side. I need to make sure the sides are all nice. And there we go. Isn't this awesome? This looks like a beautiful play button. It's super light, by the way. It's a 
pretty hard. It, it feels like wood, but it's, uh, it's pretty much plastic. And this took this took like two days to print. I'm super excited though, Cubs, that it actually worked. Uh, this is by far the biggest thing I've ever printed. As you can see, it's as big as my hand, and it looks really, really, really nice. And the texture feels good. And this is probably the coolest thing, straight up the coolest thing I've ever printed with the 3D printer. How did I do it? What do I need if I want to do it myself? You need a 3D printer or access to a 3D printer. You need a lot of time. But besides that, it was pretty much all free once you have the 3D printer and the uh, 3D printing material. What other crazy things can we print? I would say cups. Let me know. Leave it in the comment section below. What should we print next? We have this beautiful red YouTube play button right now. Nine million subscribers, you get this bad boy. I, I just made that up, but sure, nine million subscribers, you get it. I might even frame it and um, it looks really nice. Frame it and put it up on the wall. Yeah, stay tuned for that. I, I, I might do it in the future, I might not. But in general, this looks super, super, super dope. I hope you cops enjoyed this video. If you did, Smash that like button. This was this these 3D printing videos are so much fun to record, but they also take like three, four days of non-stop printing. It's pretty heavy stuff, and there's always a chance it fails. And so yeah, thank you so much for watching, cups, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye bye. Drop a like.